President Biden will pay his respects tomorrow in New York, D.C., and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, after the terror of 9-11, people were on edge. Some members of the Muslim community were subjected to hatred and animosity. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones spoke with a local man who walks us through what it was like living in the aftermath of that horrific day as an Islamic American. So after 9-11, people of the Muslim faith had to change the way they did everything, even showing up to places like the Islamic Center of Rhode Island behind me, but also the way they dressed. They had to modify these things so that they weren't targets. Islam does not encourage, you know, that kind of carnage that took place during 9-11. But after that fateful day in September of 2001, the way many people looked at Muslim Americans changed. Imam Farid Ansari says it was a dangerous time, especially for women. He cautioned the women, the women to, to, to be dressed more modestly without necessarily the type of traditional garb that they wear. Things like hijabs became symbols igniting rage and fear for some. Even Ansari's wife fell victim. Someone actually grabbed her hijab. And it's, what is that? But it wasn't all negative. In fact, people off camera tell me 9-11 gave Islam a platform it never had before. So ever since that occurred, people wanted to know about Islam. Unf you know, it was ironic. He says resources that were once hard to find became accessible, like the Quran, and people didn't actually leave the faith. Ansari and others say they ran towards it. But even with all the headway, there is still confusion and hostility. Any struggles that still remain? Absolutely, because it still, it still lingers on a lot of people. And as he reflects 20 years later, Ansari says he remains optimistic that more progress will be made. And he says there's a saying in the Islamic community that you can't fight harm with harm. In Providence, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.